Hey guys, James with Torches and Tactical, and today we're looking at the Jetbeam M37 crossbow. Now this is part of their Everyday Carry series, it says right here. And this gives you up to 3000 lumens from an XHP 50.3 HD LED. Now, in addition to that 3000 lumens, it also does give you a 30 lumen low mode that'll run for up to 48 hours. Also, it'll give you a medium mode, which is 600 lumens. So while it is shining out at that 3000 lumens, however, it will give you 340 meters of throw, and that equates to about 28,800 candela. If you're just worried that this is gonna be a far thrower, uh, don't worry, it is also incredibly tough. This does have one and a half meter impact resistance rating as well as an IPX8 water resistance rating. Finally, this does come in at 143 by 37 by 25.5 millimeters. And without the battery, this also weighs 132 grams. So let's go ahead and dive in to exactly what comes in the package. And then we'll go ahead and touch base more on the light. So for starters, this is the box. And like I said, it is part of their everyday carry series, XHP 50.3. So here we go, comes with an 18650 battery. It is 6061 aluminum, but if you don't like the military gray, like I'm showing you, they do also have an MAO or micro arc oxidized finish. So that will appear a much more white. A couple of photos on the side and all those specifications I was just telling you about are also located on the back with a couple more specs. And let's go ahead and take a look at what came in here. Now this is the lanyard. Uh, it is very, very durable feeling. Uh, it looks great. And I like how they folded it over on itself in the package. So it gives it a really nice look. Then you have a USB-A to USB-C cable uh, because it does have on-cell charging. Then you have some really, really nice, thick orange silicone O-rings. Uh, so if you ever need to replace those, you have those always ready to go. Then you have your user manual. Uh, the user manual, you have English on one side and Chinese on the other, so you can uh, figure out how to use this. And then you have your certificate of approval as well as a warranty card. That way, if you ever need to contact JetBeam to make sure that everything's great, you can. So that being said, let's go ahead and focus on the actual M37 crossbow. And I will tell you guys right now, that this is probably the best quality light um, I have in my arsenal. Um, just from the machining standpoint and the overall feel, uh, honestly, nothing comes close to this. This is a fantastically executed flashlight. And I think Jetbeam, if they continue this trend, has a lot of new customers coming on board soon. So let's start at the very, uh, well, the business end, so to speak. So here you can see a very, very deep reflector, and that's going to help you get that 340 meters of throw. That's all That's all sitting behind this nice strike bead crenulated bezel. So, I mean, this does come out to, well, here, I had it before. Hold on, let's, there. This does come out too. So uh, you can access that beam and swap the O-rings inside there if you need to. Step down here on inside the bezel. You do have really, really nicely done machining. And you have a lot of deep cooling fins. These cooling fins are actually, they're quite effective on this light. Uh, an XHP 50.3 does produce quite a bit of heat. However, on this, you don't feel as much because these cooling fins dissipate quite well. You can see that conical shape on the inside. So it kind of hugs that reflector. So we move down a little more. Now this knurling here is a very, very nice touch. Gives it a very military or industrial look. It even says right here in military series. And then the whole head is held together. Yeah, let's zoom in here. The, the whole head is held together with a couple of these Allen screws. So again, a very nice touch, very industrial look. Uh, the battery tube has a squared off design, which is a little unusual. I will give uh, anyone who has an issue with that. It is a little unusual. However, I think it worked very well. Uh, you know, a lot of the a lot of the angular machining on on the very tip or the very bezel, um, those deep cooling fins. I think it plays really well with the battery tube here. So you have the Jetbeam logo on this side, and then we flip it over, and you have Military Series M37 crossbow, along with your serial number. This one happens to be 233500083. And then we will continue moving down. So there is a tail cap here, obviously. Uh, one thing you may have noticed is that there is no side switch or USB-C port, but we will get into that here in just a second. So that knurling from the 
uh, top of the head does continue on the tail cap as well. And if you need to remove this, uh, there is actually a two-stage tail cap here. So if you want to take off this pocket clip, uh, pocket clip, which we will talk about here in just a second, you can go ahead and remove just that top portion of the tail cap. Let's go ahead and get that back on. And if we're focusing on the tail pocket clip here, uh, it is very well done. It has a large lanyard hole. So the pretty decent spring resistance. And uh, I, I like the machining or the cutouts in here. Gives it a little bit of a more unique character. But we'll go ahead and set this aside for now. And then that knurling again does continue onto the tail cap. You have a couple of uh, holes here so you can attach that lanyard to the side if you don't have that pocket clip on there. And we'll go ahead and unscrew this. There's those silicone orange o rings. So you do have a double spring in here with quite a bit of resistance. And that resistance means that you have a lot of good feedback from your rear forward clicky switch. So it is a forward clicky, so you can do a momentary mode, which I really, really do appreciate. Um, it kind of helps this cross over from just your EDC lights over to a more tactical feel as well. But one nice thing about it is it does it does start in high. So this is all 3,000 lumens, and then you can do another half press, and then you have your 600 lumens, and then you do another press, and here's your 30 lumen mode. Again, this will run for 48 hours or two full days at 30 lumens. So, I mean, it works really, really well. Uh, another nice thing about this is if you do a quick double press, you do have a tactical strobe as well. And I inadvertently just went through the entire user interface just because it is so easy and it was easy to flow right into that with this. But that tail cap does give you a really good feel and it's super easy to control. There's no loose spots or anything like that. There's no pillowing or uh, empty air inside that tail switch. So you get a really, really nice feel. But what I do want to do is since we're looking at a light with 3000 lumens that bridges the gap very easily between EDC as well as tactical. I do want to bring out the Phoenix TK20R V2. Now I did a video very recently on the TK20R V2. And yes, this is only an 18650 light. This is 21700 cell. And as far as the emitter goes, one is a smooth reflector with an SFT70, and the other is an orange peel reflector with an XHP50.3. So they both come in at 3000 lumens. So I just decided on the TK70 RV2. That way you guys could get a good comparison. But before we do that, I do want to talk about charging here for just a second. If we do take that tail cap back off, you can pop out that lithium cell here. It's an 18650 comes in at 3,500 milliamp hours. And if you notice, it does have on cell charging. That's because there was no USB-C port on the outside of the device. And I do have a cord here, so you can see. Now, if we plug this in, you see a little red light right there. That'll change colors as soon as it's full and let you know that you're good to go again. So let's go ahead and pop this back in. And since I did charge up both these lights for this test, let's get outside and compare the XHP 50.3 HD and the orange peel reflector of the Jetbeam M37. We'll compare that to the TK20R V2 with an SFT70 and a smooth reflector. So let's get outside and do it. All right, guys, tonight we're outside with the Jetbeam M37. So this is their crossbow. Um, this is kind of a cross of military and EDC. So uh, again, 3,000 lumens. Let's just get straight into it. So this starts in their highest output, or 3,000 lumens. Very clearly see that electrical pole back there. Then you have medium. and low. So at least uh, to my naked eye, you can still see that electrical pole, definitely not as clearly as in high mode. And then if you do a quick double press, you do get that alternating tactical strobe. And for comparison, we have the Phoenix TK20R V2. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and it will start in low mode. Jump up. Here we go. This is medium. High. And now this is all 3000 lumens from the TK20R V2. Let's go ahead and shut this off one more time. Let's run through the Jetbeam M37. Again, this will always start on high unless you've cycled through. So 3000 lumens, a little more neutral of a tint. And 3000 lumens. This is, it looks a little bit cooler, um, almost blue in the center, at least to my naked eye. All right, guys, now that we have compared the M37 and the TK20R V2, let's get back inside and I will tell you exactly what I thought of these and then let you guys get on your way. All right, guys, we went outside and we compared the new Jetbeam M37 crossbow with its XHP 50.3. We compared that to the Phoenix TK20R V2 with that SFT70 and, and, and a smooth reflector versus the orange peel of the M37. I got to say that for what they are, even though this one has a dome, I think it throws light really, really well. Obviously, SFT70, those luminous LEDs are meant or they're destined for throw, uh, and they do it very, very well. However, uh, for what this is, this is specifically designed to get over 400 meters of throw. I think the M37 holds really, really well. One nice thing about this is the M37, it comes in at $59.99 from Flashlight Go. Now this was sent over from Flashlight Go. Uh, my buddy Bruce over there, he sent it to me. He's like, hey, let me know what you think. Do a video on it. You know, if, if you like it, uh, you know, definitely talk about it. If you don't like it, tell those points too. And honestly, I can't find a thing I don't like about this. Um, it has a really easy to use interface. So you always start at that 3000 lumens, then you can do a half press and you're at 600. Then you have that other half press and you're at low or you do a double press and then you got your tactical stroke. So it's a very easy to use, very intuitive interface. Honestly, I can't find anything I don't like about this, especially coming in at $59.99 on the Flashlight Go site. I don't think that you're going to find a better deal than this. Additionally, there is a coupon code. I'll go ahead and throw it down here right now. Um, but I'll also include it in the description and in the comments so you guys can go head over to flashlightcode.com and you can use that coupon code and you can save a little bit of money on your own M37. Now, uh, I frankly, I love white and I, I think I'm going to have to pick up the same M37 crossbow in that MAO, mic Micro Arc Oxidation Finish, just because it's such a versatile, useful light. And I know I'm going to throw this in a holster or keep it in my pocket with that included pocket clip and it's going to get a ton of use. So if you guys like this, let me know down in the comments. Also, if you don't like it, let me know down in the comments. But what I can tell you is if you head over to Flashlight Co. and use that coupon code, you won't be disappointed with the M37. So I'm going to go ahead and head back outside just because I want a little more runtime with this. And down in the comments, tell me what you guys think about this. And I will see you guys in the next one.